Does this mean that the dream of artificial intelligence is coming true? So artificial intelligence, to me, is trying to get computers to do stuff that if people did them, you'd say, oh, they're demonstrating their peopleness. That's what makes humans humans, that stuff they're doing. But without experience or emotion, can a computer like Watson ever learn and understand the world the way we humans do from early childhood on? Right now, no machine can understand the meaning of a play, or what, it, what it means to be King Lear or Macbeth or Hamlet. To be or not to be, that is the question. No machine can understand the parables in the Judeo-Christian Bible. All they can do is grovel through data and find regularities. But for Dave Ferrucci, that kind of understanding was never the goal. It's not going to emerge as a, as a human, because it doesn't connect the information to human experience, to human cognition. When you think about um, a great symphony, and when a human sits down with that, that music is affecting that human at an emotional level. The computer doesn't have that human experience, doesn't have that human emotion, it's not human, it's a computer. Watson may never experience the world the way we do, but with his enormous knowledge base, his skill at interpreting language, and his ability to learn. Yes, we got it. Could he actually be considered intelligent? Oh my God. It is more intelligent than the average Jeopardy player in, in, in answering Jeopardy questions. That's impressively intelligent. The time has come for Watson to take the stage, where his intelligence will be put to the ultimate test in front of millions of Jeopardy viewers. Am I having fun? Uh, it's nerve-wracking. For the big match, Watson now has a physical presence, an avatar. My name is Watson. How now, brown cow? The team has been working right up till the end. I think I dream about Jeopardy questions now. I have <laughs> nightmares about Jeopardy questions. I talk to people in the form of a question. Have they done enough? They're about to find out as Watson meets the world's two best Jeopardy players, Brad Rutter and Ken Jennings. We've never had this caliber of a player. And there's a reason why Ken won 74 games in a row. There's a reason why Brad has never been beat by a human. The whole team has been waiting four years for this moment. I knew this was going to happen, but I never imagined quite like this. What do you say we play Jeopardy? With another stand-in host, Watson meets his opponents for an exhibition round. Kathleen Kenyon's excavation of this city mentioned in Joshua showed the walls had been repaired 17 times. Watson. What is Jericho? Correct. 400 same category. This mystery author and her archaeologist hubby dug in hopes of finding the lost Syrian city of Urkesh. Watson? Who is Agatha Christie? Correct. Watching from the wings is Jeopardy's host, Alex Trebek. He doesn't get everything right, but he doesn't miss very much. Watson? Let's finish Chick's dig me. <laughs> At Mount Carmel in Israel, Dorothy Garad was the first to find this prehistoric human skeleton outside of Europe. Ken, what is Neanderthal? You're right. By the end of this 10-minute game, man and machine are neck and neck, and no one dares predict what will happen when they face off in the looming showdown. Um, MC5 or two. It's going to be edge of your seat. It's going to be nerve-wracking. What really is going to happen? And you just don't know. You don't know. I suspect that this will just be the jumping-off point. Their next project will be we don't want to create an avatar that will play as a contestant on Jeopardy. We want to create the host of Jeopardy. And they can do it. Good afternoon, Mr. Trebek. I've been waiting for this moment for a very, very, very long time.
This Nova program is available on DVD at ShawPBS.org or call 1-800-PLAY-PBS.